Hi everyone, Eileen here from the design team. My video tutorial today called Birthday Wishes features the beautiful fairy called Sky, along with a leaf from our sticker stencil set and one of my favourite Lavinia stamp stencils called Buds. Right, let me show you how I created this card. I have a couple of sheets of copy paper and a piece of Lavinia Stamps multifarious cardstock in white and this is 12 centimetres by 12 centimetres. The leaf stencil from, and this is the negative image, there's a positive image as well, you get both. And this I'm going to position on the side of my card going up the right hand edge I don't want it right to the top though so let's see how I do this I'm, I'm using I'm putting the stencil underneath the the card stock here sort of it grips it there and then I'm using some sweet poppy stencil stencil tape just to give it a little bit more security on the sides. Swig of coffee, so early in the morning. I'm going to do this in blue, so Lavinia Stamp Stencil Brush in blue. And I'm using Archival Ink French Ultramarine. You can use any inks you like. And just going through the stencil is a very quick card, this one. There we are. And then moving the stencil around, but I'm just going to give it a quick wipe with some... Um, kitchen towel, not wet cloth, just want to wipe off any surplus ink and then popping this on and now I'm going across the card and at an angle still like so, trying to get this underneath the card, that's better and then that's it, over to the Make sure you can see this. Oh yeah, you can. Sorry about the squeaky chair. Um, over to the right hand side of your card. And then I'm bringing in chrome yellow. Archival again. Another Lavinia Stamps brush. These brushes are soft. They don't shed all their bristles. They are, they've got a domed top, which I find really useful. Gives a nice, soft blend. You're going to get green tones with this, of course, as the yellow hits the blue. So that's a bit of a bonus, as far as I'm concerned. Now I want to take it over. On my original card, let me show you. On my original card, the yellow stopped at the bottom there. And then I went on with the next stencil, but I want to move it over a little bit more on this one. Just a tiny, tiny amount of stencil going across the bottom. Again in the yellow, so I've extended it a bit. But I'll do it a slightly um, less pressure on the stencil brush will give me a lighter shade. So, and then that way you can, if you vary the depth of color, it does add interest to your design. And I do that by not so much pressure on the brush. Okay, so I've finished with this. And now I'm going to bring in Buds. I adore this stencil. It's quite bold and dramatic. Now, I need a lot of white space. Both on the left-hand side, I'm going to have a bit. But mainly on the top of the card. So I'm bringing the stencil down to around about there. 
sweet poppy stencil stencil tape again to hold it and archival ink rose matter Lavinia stamp stencil brush and then along the bottom I'm going to put just quickly flicking up right the way across the bottom and I'm adding a couple of layers of pink to this so it's quite bold with the colour scheme at the bottom but as I go up the card less pressure on the brush so that I get a softer look a softer gentle look just a whisper of the pink going up and then as I'm coming over avoid this hard line at the top you don't want to go anywhere near that coming over let's have a look see what I've got oh yeah that's fine oops so I don't think I need any more I think that uh, bud stencil has got its five minutes of fame <laughs> there's quite a bit of it there now this is the good bit as well I'm enjoying this I hope you are too um, stamp press and uh, this is my Misty. I'm popping that down into the corner and using Sky. She's such a lovely fairy, this one. And she's she's quite strong in the sense that it is a solid silhouette stamp. So she really will take centre stage, and that's what I'm after. So down she goes, about a um, centimetre up from the bottom. Yeah, something like that. And she's got this cute little bird here as well. Just making sure she's sitting comfortably. <laughs> right. Down we go. Versifying Claire Nocturne. Uh, it's a lovely fluid ink. This, in my opinion, the best for stamping. Versifying Onyx Black, very similar. Same company. So I would use both of them. But uh, Nocturne, I like the shape of the pad. So much easier to use. Right. Mm. Nice and covered with the ink. Checking fingers. Over we go. And again, I'm using pressure tool here. As I'm getting older, my hands aren't quite as adaptable as they used to be for stamping. So this gizmo helps. You can get lots of them. I've seen a lot of homemade um, pressure tools, as I've called them, because I don't know what their real name is. But um, I've seen a lot of homemade ones, you know, with the tops of the Yankee candles. Seems like a good plan to me. Right. Oh, yeah, she looks really good, but... I haven't got all the dots there that I would like. So I'm going to stamp her again. Put more ink on that wing area. And let's hope that I've solved the problem. Yep. bit more pressure in that area with the wings it's a lovely design and all those little dots do add to it now oh, that's good right got them now okay take this out I 
This is one of those Sizzix sticky sheets. I do find it so useful in my Misty than just relying on the um, magnets. Okie dokie, right, I do need now my heat gun. Um, oh no, I don't, sorry. As you were, I've got to go back to the Misty. I've got to stamp the sentiment. So I thought I might as well use the Misty while it was around. So pop that back on. Remove sky. And I'm using Birthday Wishes. And it's from the Lavinia Stamps Heartfelt Verses sentiment set. You get four sentiments in um, in this set. And Birthday Wishes is one of them. So, popping that down round about here, I think. Yeah, about there. Making sure it's straight. <laughs> now, I'm just checking on the grid of the Misty now that it is straight. So, <clears throat> making note of the line and then just repositioning it slightly. Yep, looks straight to me. Not too much pressure because it's a word and it, you don't know, really want to put too much pressure on it because it's quite delicate. Oh, look, great. I'll give that a quick wipe over. I just use a mild detergent and water on my stamps. Never a stamp cleaner. Okay. I've got a couple of marks here. And to be absolutely honest, I think it's for my nail varnish. Do you get that? Oh, I think it might be a good idea not to do my nails. Hmm. Anyway, got my eraser and that actually has removed them. So I'm okay. Well, I'm here and I've got some copy paper. I'm just going to go over to make sure that Sky is dry. And she is. Oh, she's come out so well. She's lovely. Right, we're nearly finished. So I've got some enamel accents in black. I'm going to apply those. But before I do, I'm going to go around the edges with a Sharpie. Those of you that are sensitive, close your eyes now. <laughs> you can use a ruler for this and do it at the beginning if you want, before you even start the card. That is always a good plan. I like living on the edge. All right, I'm sorted. And then the final thing is to just to put down a few dots of this, just making sure it's flowing okay. So I'm going to follow the sort of the curves of the um, bud stencil. Don't want the dots to be too big. So three there. And then I'll have another one, two, three, four, five getting smaller as we go along and then over the other side maybe to match um one two 
three. Right. <clears throat> I think that uh, that will do me. And the next thing you need is a card blank. And that will be, now I did make one. 14 and a half by 14 and a half centimetres. And it's tenth fold. And again, it's uh, multifarious cardstock in white to match. I'm not going to go around the edges of this. I'm just going to use this black edge as the frame. Pop that into the card. I'm not going to glue it down because my um, accents, Namo accents, aren't dry. So it would be bad news to try that. So I'm going to bring back my board. Pop that over there. Down there very gently standing up whoops going out of shot that's not a good look <laughs> there we are and then this one so here's the one that I made earlier and my demonstration project the the pink in this one is better actually um, I quite like it I think I've got more depth in that pink but all in all, it's about the same, isn't it? So we thank you so much for being with me. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.